We would be honored if you would join us. You've never heard of the Millennium Falcon? It's the ship that made the Kessel run in less than 12 parsecs. Hey Star Wars fans, welcome back to another video. Uh, something a little bit different today. I don't do these very often at all. Um, yeah, very, very limited with budget first hot toys. But yeah, this was one I had to get. Um, you know, this has been about 18 months in the waiting, you know, for this thing to show up. And boy, is it worth it. It is the deluxe version of Darth Vader DX28 from Obi-Wan Kenobi series. Um, yeah, this thing has absolutely blown my mind. I thought we'd take a little bit of a look at the packaging, uh, go in, take a look at the accessories, and yeah, really wanted to sort of show you the layout of the box and how much effort has actually been put into the display of the box. It's been something, you know, seriously amazing. So thought we'd go through that quickly. Um, not quickly, I'll, I'll take my time. But um, so yeah, if you want to hang out and check it out, see a nice picture of Vader, very sort of nice photo art on the front there and this sort of slips off and close look so you can see the deluxe comes with the interchangeable the sort of complete chest box extra head and you know whereas the I think the standard one just comes as is like this and it comes with some extra accessories as well extra light up base and I love that these are all sort of USB powered now. They don't relying on batteries. There was a bit of a kerfuffle here in Australia where the uh, battery laws changed in terms of importing batteries. So they've had to, uh, Sideshow and Hot Toys have had to uh, accommodate that. And going USB powered isn't, isn't the worst thing in the world either. If you've got a little power bo box, you can just plug that in. You want to display it. But yeah, beautiful picture of Vader on the side. The sort of other details on the back there. So yeah, here is the other box. So you can see Obi Wan Kenobi there. You've got the other Inquisitors, also available in Hot Toys. I don't think I'll worry about getting any of those. Obi-Wan Kenobi is going to tempt me. <laughs> it already is tempting me. Now I've got this guy on display. I'm very, very tempted. So yeah, D again, DX28 Darth Vader Deluxe version, one six scale collectible figure. With the details on the back again, the same on the front. I did pre-order mine through work. Kess run here in collectibles. If you're here in Australia, definitely. It's worth the wait. And uh, yeah, we'll look after it. We'll look after all the uh, behind the scenes work, getting them in. So yeah, this is just a slip out the side box. Get that one out of the way. And again, really nice sort of cover piece here. This is sort of in lieu of the sort of the tuck in sleeve artwork. To Darth Vader, and then the quote: "Anakin is gone. I am what remains." After being restored by Darth Sidious following his brutal defeat by Obi-Wan Kenobi on the fiery lava world Mustafar, Darth Vader is fully consumed by the dark side of the Force, leading the Empire's eradication of the Jedi Order and hunting down his former master. So yeah, and that does just sort of pop off. This is where the magic happens, and I will switch the camera view. But yeah, this is all, this is all foam, foam laid, nicely protected in foam. Don't have the uh, the plastic inlays and all that anymore, which is, you know, whether it's just for deluxe, I'm, I'm assuming that's the case. Um, but yeah, I've just sort of tucked all the extra bits in there at the moment. Um, but yeah, let's change camera angles and uh, we'll take another look from, from the top. All right, so yeah, obviously this is just the bed that lays the figure in. Um, we've got the interchangeable control panel, so we'll just pop that out and have a quick quick look so that looks nice it's nice and clean again with the light up features you can have that sort of chest box you actually get a couple of choices whether you have that lit up 
So if you want to have the complete Vader sort of lit up, you can, or you can switch it off and have it so it's busted, but all the other lights are working. So that's, that's a really cool feature. That looks nice. And of course, the helmet, which is, you know, it's iconic in itself. You almost wouldn't be remiss for wanting to just sort of display this somehow on its own. It's got all those sort of, you know, the different sort of painted elements where it's, that cheek is, is painted in a silver, the nose bridge in a silver, the under the, under the eyelid there, sort of a silver, I think that top part there is a silver, and then you get a little bit through there, and that was simply for filming purposes for photography, just so the, so the black wouldn't get lost in the camera. Yeah, remarkably sculpted, beautiful. That's ever so slight red tinge to the uh, lenses. And yeah, obviously, if I was going to set it up, I'd give it a nice wipe over with a with a cloth just to get some of those fingerprints and stuff off it. But, you know, I'm not too precious about all that kind of thing. So yeah, just underneath that sort of thing is all the extra hands. You've got those extra sort of hand pins that they always throw in. They're obviously prone to overuse, but um, yeah, that's got one of just the stock hands that it comes with. Sort of just a really resting hand. You have you know, the lightsaber hand with that. Sort of the other side of that relaxed hand. And yeah, they just sort of sit in there very nicely. Just a sort of static. Again, maybe it's like a slight forced persuasion. Like, you will do what I say. I don't know. <laughs> I didn't think that one through. A bit of a... Bit of an open hand there. Looks nice. It's a nice soft plastic. So, and you get these two hands here, which are a little bit more... You know, grabbing spaceships out of the sky and pulling them down. And that one there too. So yeah, you get those extra hands sort of hidden away in there, which is nice. Let's be protected in the box. So then we slide out this part. And what I'll actually do is I'll take this bottom tray out. Now you got the, just the instructions, some extra plastic bits. It was so much easier when I wasn't doing it on camera. <laughs> so yeah, you get... Uh, in terms of the accessories, you get the, another base, you get a rocky base, which I'll show when I show the figure. You get this secondary base, which is electronically powered. Um, so you have the USB-C input, you have the on and off. And it actually lights up through the grid there, That's all. that'll glows. And that light and that light actually glows, so you can get that nice sort of effect on Vader. And uh, yeah, this is a good base for the alternative look for Vader, which is, you know, the complete Darth Vader. And that's a really cool base for him. It's nice and sturdy. It's got the spot there for the, uh, for the clear stand. And it does come with two of, or Reaver's lightsabers. So if you have the Reaver... So you have the Reaver lightsabers that he uses against her when she tries to tries to attack him. So yeah, you can you have his sort of unlit hilt, or you can put the blade in it. But uh, yeah, the one I have on display is actually the powered one, so you can actually plug that in to the back and have it lit up. And I'll show you that, but yeah, just the. Uh, Sculpt of this is really nice. 
and I think you know, we've seen these before, these sort of action blades, so you can plug that one in. And if you wanted to just have him in a static pose without the lighting effects, you can do that. But, you know, when you've got lighting effects, why would you not use them? <laughs> and yeah, obviously you get two, two blades for Reaver's hilts as well. So it's kind of cool if you want to increase your displays. Um, change the potential, you know, if you're a big Hot Toys collector and you get the Reaver, you can redo that battle. But, um, yeah, let's get all this out of the way. And let's have a good look at the figure, because it, uh, it is a sight to behold. Alright, here he is, the man, the myth, the legend. I'm going to handheld while we have a look over this. I'm just going to take a nice sort of look, do a little bit of a 360 and, uh, Check him out. Unreal. Head sculpt. Absolutely incredible. I so, know Hasbro did a great job with the with the six inch and the three and three quarter inch versions. But dear Lord, this is uh this is something else. Try and get up nice and close. The scarring, the sort of the pale skin, the bloodshot eye. Absolutely outstanding. Just the textures of the skin. And even down to the, the sort of the damage on the helmet, the sort of the broken metal, the peeled back steel. It was a bit of a bit of a solid slash with the uh, with the lightsaber from Obi Wan. You sort of get that finally get that understanding of the uh, the scar on top of Anakin's head from Return of the Jedi, where Luke takes his helmet off. So you can remove that top part. Let's get a look at some of that detail. Really nice. You can sort of see. Some extra details in there. So you sort of get around to the back of the head and it's it's sort of hollow. So you get that tool so you can adjust the, uh, you can move the eye around. But yeah, the fact that they're sculpted and painted all the way back into here. It's just, you know, proof of the quality. And you know, being able to see sort of in there, you want to be able to catch that detail. So let's pop his uh, pop his lid back on. Tricky to do with one hand, but there we go. But yeah, all the way down through the uh, the fabric of the cloth, it's of the cape. You know, it's beautiful. It's heavy. It's you know multi layered. It's all hemmed and seamed. It's you know it just falls exactly where it needs to fall. It's just got that beautiful weight in it. You can pick that cape up and just drop it. And it just lands and just falls naturally. It's just just absolutely wonderful. Same with the bottom here. You know, the multi-layered, a little bit of a difference, kind of a little more of a satin, satiny velvet, sort of not a velvet, but a satiny fabric on the inside there. All the way through there. Even all these leathers. The stitching in it is fantastic. Even the uh, the cod piece of the armor there is a little bit of a it's a softer plastic, but it's molded and it, you know the way it's sculpted, it's got that sort of almost leather look to it as well. Just looking at the details on the belt, you can see just the sort of the steel sort of showing through on the corners on the edges. Scratches off, scratch paint. Same with the the side parts here. So that detail is it's just so good. And on to the other side. You can see he's got his lightsaber clip there for the uh, other hilt that I shared with you before. And there's the uh, the busted up 
chess box. Thanks, Obi Wan. <laughs> you really messed that up. And yeah, that just sort of pegs in there with a couple of couple of notches. So you can switch that out quite easily. So going around to the back. You do have that slash in his cape, which is, you know, a nice, nice detail. It doesn't go all the way through, which is fine. It doesn't need to. Um, but yeah. So we'll get into the whole electronics and stuff that you just saw on the back. We'll take a look at the base here. So this is, you know, the standard base that it comes with. I don't remember the name of the moon that they fought on or the planet. But yeah, that sort of rocky terrain. I also noticed this one, this particular hot toy doesn't come with the nameplate. Like previous hot toys of, I'm not sure whether that's just for the deluxe. This is the first one I've had or whether it's just, whether that's something they're doing now, I'm not sure. But uh, yeah, the detail on the rocks is nice. You know, the sort of clear stand, yeah, it's nice and strong. Just plugs straight through the hole. And then you get this other part here, which is you know, a little bit nicer than the old clips. A little screw in there, so you can tighten that up, but you know, it sort of comes reasonably tight there. But once you once you get it in place, you can you can tighten that up a little bit. And it doesn't want to focus on it, so. But yeah, it's nice and subtle. It's not, you know, the stand is nice and subtle, which I, I love, particularly with, uh, you know, you sort of have uh, that sort of sitting behind. You know, if you're looking at it, you barely notice, honestly. You barely notice. Just looking again at the cape, you can sort of see around the collar there, the uh, sort of faux leather, and then the uh, the chain. That's his, uh, one of the other hands he comes with, just the fist. I just like that sort of power stance of Vader. It's just iconic, just badass looking Vader with the fist. Just, you know, he's broken down and defeated here, but, you know, he's still, still pissed off. <laughs> so there's the lightsaber. As you can sort of see, the, uh, the wire sort of tucked into the back there. And this blade is removable, um, so you can take that out. I don't think the other one fit into it, the, the sort of swooshy movement blade. I didn't try it, but I think it was a little bit too big. But oh, it should, theoretically it should. So yeah, what I'm gonna do now is I'm just gonna lift up Vader's cape. So yeah, what you get on the back here is the electronics. So this one, so you get this little cable that sort of comes out the back and that feeds the chest box. This little cable sort of tucks in behind the belt there and that feeds that box on the side. Same with this side here, that one goes there. You have the little switch on the side. So you have the off in the middle obviously and then you have the option of Lighting up just the side boxes, or the side boxes and the chest box. Um, and then of course, down the bottom here we have, well it's plugged into the top, but we have that sort of cape cord that runs into the lightsaber. Which is nice, It's there's no sort of real easy way to do that. Um, I'm sure if you were willing to spend a lot of time undressing your Darth Vader and running it up the sleeve and manipulating the fabric and stuff like that to get it fed through. I'm sure you could. That's not something I'll be doing. Because um, like I said, once the cape's down, the wire's sort of tucked in, you know, you can, you can probably play around with that and get them a little bit hidden. So, but you know, that sort of sits in behind the, the, behind the blade. So when you do sort of spin him around again, oh, and before I do that, if you look underneath, just the USB-C little input there, so nice and easy. So yeah, I'll have to get myself a, maybe an individual power bank for this guy or a longer cord that can sort of run through the back of my DTOLF so that when he, uh, when I flick that power on, 
he can uh, power up himself. I'll have to get a remotely powered USB. So yeah, just looking at him, you know, you get a little bit of reflection from that cable there, but it's nothing really, you know. That's it's so worth it once it's lit up. I will show you in a moment. I'll go and grab a cord. But my lord, <laughs> like I could have sat and stared at this thing all day yesterday. Just absolutely incredible. Worth worth the money, guys. Like seriously, I know Hot Toys are. They are expensive, but I tell you what, they are value for money. And there was absolutely no doubt I wasn't going to skimp and get the non-deluxe version. I had to had to go for the deluxe. And I'm just uh, having an internal battle as to whether I pair him up with the Obi Wan Kenobi. <laughs> I think it'd be, I think it would be cool. Won't be anytime soon, but. You can get a sort of budget and save for that kind of thing. Yeah, just bring me down to the boots even. Really nice. Yeah, I think this is, you know, you talk about as much as you're terrified that it's never going to happen, but... Um, it does happen. People do have house fires and, you know, people always ask what's, what's something you'd grab on your way out if you had to. Um, this would definitely come into consideration, I think. Yeah, so I'll hold that there just so you can look at it a little bit more. And it's nice to sort of have a little bit more of an understanding of like how Vader or how his head sort of fits into the helmet and how it all sort of works with the sort of the breathing apparatus and you know the vocal vocabulator and all that sort of stuff. And obviously, it uh, changes his voice. So to sort of see that. You know, Obi-Wan Kenobi, sort of that breaking between Vader and Anakin. Just packed that emotion so much. Yeah, while I agree that, I agree with many that the series itself wasn't perfect. That, uh, that end duel certainly, uh, Beat me down emotionally. <laughs> it grabbed a hold. It really did. So yeah, I'm going to go grab a cord. Let's plug him in and have a look at him lit up. Alright, here he is all lit up. You can see the, uh, the, sort of the life support systems there on the side. All lit and the lightsaber it does look nice. Let me switch over for this other light so we're gonna get a good look. There we go. So, again, like I said, with the back, we go and flick that little switch. the up position you get that chest box lit up too which is really really nice like I'm even considering leaving that on there but I know it's kind of defeats the purpose of having the busted up version on there it does look nice the fact that they've still included those so LEDs maybe I'll go back and uh, watch the scene again see if there is any flicker of light you know after Obi-Wan sort of does the damage but yeah, just beautiful options to, to display this figure. But for, yeah, for now, I'm going to flick that down. Yeah, just a remarkable, remarkable piece. You know, we'll, I've actually found a cord that's going to work well for the cabinet. So I'll be using this. 
So yeah, the light up effects beautifully done. Really nice. So uh, let's get him back in the detail and we'll have a quick look before we wrap up. All right, there we have it. So nice. See, so yeah, I've just been able to run that cord down the back there, just run it down the edge. Line some of my other figures down to the back and that'll just sort of pop out to the corner. I've got a uh, yeah, coffee mug and some power PowerPoints down there, so <laughs> we'll be laughing. Fan freaking tastic. I'm blown away. It's so nice to finally have this guy. Oh, I've been talking about it for months. When I finally got these Detolf cabinets, I knew that I was going to have a shelf spare for this guy. Right next to my boy and my girls. <laughs> really nice. Oh, thank you guys for tuning in. I hope you enjoyed checking out uh, the DX28 Darth Vader from Hot Toys, Sideshow Collectibles. Beautifully done. Really, really impressed. So yeah, let's uh let's tuck him back in. And give this glass a little nice nice clean up now. There's a little bit of uh a little bit grubby after a little while, but uh yeah, we'll get them nice and clean. Alright folks, thank you very much for tuning in. We'll see you again soon. May the force be with you always.